Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to resolve Git merge conflicts using div3. But before we do that, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Last time we resolved the simple Git merge conflict, but in this video, we will have a look at something bigger. We'll work with the Create React app and we'll make two branches, we'll make two changes or multiple changes, we'll delete files, we'll try to make the conflict a little bit more harder to resolve and we'll still try to resolve it without any headaches. I think it's important that you know what changes we are making in each of the branches, but I don't want to slow this tutorial down, so I'll speed up through the process. Firstly, we're editing the his branch, we're removing the logo SVG, and inside of the app.js, we remove the reference to the logo and we will remove this copy as well, replace it with h1 and remove the paragraph. Okay, now we'll make a commit. We call it his changes and then we'll switch to my branch. And inside of here again, we will make few changes to the app.js. We'll change the import of the logo to my logo and we'll replace the reference inside of the image. Okay, now we again making a commit, we're calling a my changes and now here is the git log with my changes. Now before we merge it, before we get to the merging, what if we wanted to firstly see the difference between our branch and his branch. Okay, so is there a tool like that? And yes, there is. We can use the git diff. Okay, so let's have a look at git diff and we compare my branch with his branch. Okay, this lists all the changes, all the differences between our and the branch we try to compare to. Firstly, we have the changes to the app.js and we are changing the import to my logo and then the green changes are the changes in our branch and the red ones are the changes the incoming changes okay so that's how it's all marked up over here we see what's coming in and what is in our branch and the svg logo his branch doesn't have this file my branch has it okay so that's why it's all green and that's essentially it. So these are the differences between the two branches. And now let's try to merge it using the git merge. So git merge his branch. Should start a merge process. And we have a few more changes, a few more conflicts in that file, not just one line. Okay, so this one is quite simple. This is similar to what we did in the previous video, just one line of change. And in our change, we have the import in his branch, we don't, okay? So if I accept the current change, we would keep the file. If I accept incoming, we would remove it, okay? So we're removing that. And here is the bigger piece that we have the conflict, okay? As you can see again, the green thing is what is in our branch in the blue is what is it in his branch depending of which of these changes we want to bring in we would choose either incoming or current change but i wanted to show you little difference that we can make to our git config that would make reading of these conflicts a little bit easier okay so i'll quit and i'll abort this git merge a board and we'll set up something in the git config and we'll try it again and you'll see the difference firstly we will add this line to the config we will be using the merge conflict style div3 so div3 is a three-way merge tool that will let us see the file as it was before our changes then it will show our changes on top and his changes at the bottom okay so that's why div3 because of the three-way merge and if we enable it and do the merge again now i will hide the terminal because the file gets a little bit longer but what we've got here is 
the changes to the file before our changes. Then at the top are our changes that we want to bring in. And below is his changes coming in from the merge. Okay, so maybe this git div3 will actually make it easier for you to resolve if you want to see how the file looked before your changes and how it will look with his changes coming in. Okay, so that's why the div3, same thing is applied to the top change. We have the logo import. We are changing it to my logo and in his branch, it's been removed. Okay, so this is div3 in action. And now we can resolve both changes using by accepting his changes. So incoming, and this is the merge completed. We'll save the file, add all the changes and commit it. And here is the git log that should show the git merge and our changes previously. Okay, so hope this makes sense. Hopefully you've learned something new and this showed you a little bit more complicated merge conflict. If you are still unsure whether to accept the incoming or your changes, then uh, never hurts to actually call your colleague, sit down next to him and work it out together, okay? If you are 100% confident that the changes you have in your branch are the ones that should stay in, you can always ignore the incoming changes. If you're not sure, as I said, just bring in the colleague and figure it out together. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other cool tutorials. Until next time, happy coding.